Well, today you join me on the Foss Dyke near Lincoln, and I'm fishing for two iconic mini species, the gudgeon and the ruff. But before we get into it, let's find out a little bit more about these fish. Gudgeon are members of the carp family, and although mostly thought of as a river fish, can live and breed in lakes also. They're bottom feeders, with a large mouth for its size to sift gravel and pick out invertebrates. Most small fish tactics work for them, with maggot and worm being good baits. Gudgeon rarely get bigger than 3 ounce, with anything over 4 ounce being a specimen. Ruff are members of the perch family and share many habits with gudgeon, also mostly a river fish, but can be found in large lakes too. Tending to stay near the bottom, they pick out invertebrates, but are also slightly predatory, taking fish fry and eggs, which is meant in areas where they are native, like in the Scottish locks, they can be an issue for native fish, like char and powan. Maggot and worm again are decent baits for them, presented on the bottom. I've never actually fished Foss Dyke before, it's not too far from where I live in Nottingham, and it's basically a large canal that joins the River Witham and the River Trent. Both of those rivers have rough and gudgeon, and they love canals. They love murky, slow, deep water. So in theory, I should be in the right spot. Method's pretty simple. I'm using a centre pin float just to fish the margins. And then I've got a small maggot feeder out there. So nothing complicated. I've caught loads of gudgeon in my lifetime. Rough, I can count on one hand how many rough I've caught. So if we get one of those today, I'll be chuffed with a rough, if you excuse that terrible rhyming. A lot of people talk about mini fish in decline, and I think it's a sort of yes and no answer. Less people fish venues where you catch mini fish. Look at this dike I'm fishing today, I'm the only angler here, and you're gonna get more natural species like gudgeon, rough and bleak. You don't really get those in commercial fisheries. You get your carp and your bream and stuff that match anglers want to catch. So I think it's partly due to that. They're just not widely distributed and there's less people fishing the venues. Would it surprise me if there'd been an official decline? Not really, but the true answer is we've not got any research to suggest that they have. Both Ruff and Gudgeon are fans of slow moving murky water which is why they're both so often associated with canals, which provide the perfect home for them. I did catch a small perch, which got my heart going, but fishing was pretty slow. However, I find that's a good sign. Rough are, to be blunt, quite dopey fish, and species like roach and perch often get to the bait first. So if you're not catching lots of other species, it gives the rough a chance to get to the bait. I've just been getting nibbles on the float, the float's gone, and <laughs> yes, 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 it's a gudgeon, wow, massive head on him, that's great, beautiful looking fish, it's got sort of like a bluey silver tinge along the flanks, and speckles all along the tail, and telltale two barbels, if you ever don't know how to tell the difference between a young barbel and a gudgeon, gudgeon have got two barbels, barbel have got four barbels. That's lovely. I wasn't sure if we'd get one today. I know this spot's good for rough, but I wasn't sure about gudgeon. So, <laughs> there it is. Not the biggest fish, but certainly one of the most beautiful fish. Everyone loves a gonk. They're so blue. You can just see the blue on the flanks. Really pretty fish. Let's get him back. Well, it wasn't a massive gudgeon, but size really doesn't matter with them. It's early March, so there's a bit of brisk cold in the air, but spring is starting to slowly creeping. There's a line of daffodils just behind me. I have been watching a field fair up in that tree, and it's been coming down to eat apples. So there is a still sliver of winter hanging on, but things are warming up. The close season is fast upon us, so I am hoping to get this rough today really, otherwise I'm gonna to have to wait till June to have another go. Cold weather doesn't normally affect rough. They're fairly happy to feed in most conditions, 
and today was chilly. It even started to snow quite heavily for a while, but I was determined to bag a rough. I've gone back on the feeder now and I keep getting little taps. It's been tapping for about five minutes. I mean, I suppose it's not going to whap the rod round, is it? But it could just be little roach. I'm going to give that a go. Mm, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's a gudgeon. It's just a gudgeon. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a rough. It's a rough. It's a, <laughs> it's a rough. Oh, wow. Look at you. That is gorgeous. Just get that hook out. Look at that. Oh, well, I've got to be careful not to drop this. What a fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Rough scales like a perch, but a single dorsal fin. Perch got two dorsal fins, rough have got one. Let's have a closer look at it. Colours are all speckled. Fantastic purple eye on them. And you just don't see them very often now, so that's actually not a bad sized rough, to be honest with you. They don't get a great deal bigger than that so that's great beautiful fish <laughs> i'm genuinely genuinely chuffed with that let's get it back even though rough are widespread they can be quite hard to target in many venues so it was great to get one out the mouth is much smaller than a perch so a small hook is best they can be prone to deep hooking, so I would recommend barbless hooks for rough. So I've moved under the bridge. Uh, I'm pretty happy because I've caught a rough and a gudgeon, so I'm just being greedy now. But I know that certainly rough are nocturnal. They've got big eyes, so they use that to find food in murky and dark water. So if I was a rough, I would be under this bridge. So that's where I've come. I'm float fishing close into the margins and then I've got a feeder on the other side because they'll be pressed up against the wall, hiding in the cracks. Looks like I'm sea fishing, doesn't it? Look, I've got the rods pointed up there. So, you never know. We might get another one. We might. Well, to save you the suspense, I didn't get any other fish, but I've always had a soft spot for the mini species and to catch both relatively close to my home is always a pleasure. It's been a lovely trip down memory lane today, fishing for mini species on canals that I would have fished when I was a kid, like Nottingham Canal or Grantham Canal. If you can subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. And leave a comment down below. What species do you think I should go after next and where should I try and catch it or film it? Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. If you've been enjoying this vid, why not check out the Chasing Scales playlist where you can see some of the other videos I've made trying to catch a hundred different species of UK fish. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, the Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.